I am the first to admit that there are some really tiny pieces to cut out for this particular doll. Uh, I do a lot of very tiny fiddly things with my own work. So what I'm going to show you here, you can do the eyes a couple of different ways. Again, cut them out with freezer paper using the freezer paper method. Cut them out using a, a, a template. Um, I know there are some other doll makers that, that have these circle templates that they use. I'm looking into one of those. Um, but I'm an elementary school art teacher. So I'm going to show you the method that I use when I am teaching my little guys, my little kindergartners, how to cut out a circle. Now you'll notice I just cut out kind of a almost a almost a square and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out one more. Now what you're doing when you're doing this it means that you know you cannot make one that is bigger a circle that's bigger than the square you have two squares that are roughly the same size and what you're going to do is you're going to cut a circle out of one uh, and you're going to think about it this way you're going to be cutting off the corners and you're just going to keep going until you have a circle so I'm going to start here and I'm going to come all the way up to the edge I'm going to do this again and I'm kind of nibbling away at it Part of the reason I'm nibbling away at it is it's much stranger to do this with a camera in front of me uh, than not just being able to look at it. But I know that I cannot make a circle that's any bigger than this. And frankly, none of my pieces, when you look at them, have eyes or things that are perfectly centered perfectly created. I don't know that I would want them to be either. Okay, so I've cut out one. Now remember, I'm, I'm really good at hiding things. So if it's not a perfect circle, don't have a heart attack. And you can see this is, this is a little harder to see, but you can see where when I hold this up, I know exactly where to cut. I know, and I keep everything close together, turn, and I wish this would really stop focusing on the things in the background. And it's not perfect. Oh wow, that is so not perfect. So what I'm going to do, if I could get my camera to focus, is I'm just going to do a little nibbling away. And this is exactly what I tell my students, my little guys. You just kind of nibble away at it until, okay, 